Now the goal for the next couple of videos is to get Angular CLI up and running. And this is pretty much a tool for developing our Angular application. So it's a command line interface, CLI for AngularJS. So this is, or Angular 2, sorry. So this is a way for us to actually get started with developing in AngularJS. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to just press the get start link here in the CLI tools here. And if I scroll down in this Git repository, I will be told that um, prerequisites, both CLI and general project depends on node four or higher. So I have to start out with installing Node.js. So let's start there. Node.js, I've made videos about this, so I'll do it fairly quickly. Go to org, uh, en here. I'll just click the installer because I'm on Windows. It's a bit different on the Mac. We just run a brew tool instead. But again, you can see the videos. I'll also add links for those. It'll download the file here and it'll, it will run the installer and then we are up and running with Node. So uh, let's just see if this can complete. It completes and I'll open the, the installer and I'll do a step-by-step -step installation here of Node. So let's see what happens. I'll do next. Yes, I accept the agreement. Nobody reads those anyway. Bad choice, but we don't. And I'll just keep the default settings. I'll do next and I'll do install. And now it asks if it's okay security-wise. And I say yes, and it installs the Node.js part of this. Okay, so what does this mean? So installing the Node.js part means that now I can actually start asking for this tool here by doing some of these commands. So that's the next step when Node.js installed, we're going to try and actually run some of these commands. So going back to the GitHub, there's in the table of contents, there's actually an installation guide. And here's how we do it. You say at Angular CLI to do the installation. So we copy that and now we have to open a command prompt and since we just installed Node.js, there's a Node.js command prompt. So I'll open that one. I'll just paste in the lines here, npm install dash g for global. I'll press enter and it'll do the installation, hopefully. Starts getting some information from the NPM. So what is NPM? NPM is a package management system. So let me just show you why this installs. Let me show you NPM. NPM is a part of Node. So I'll, I'll search for NPM and I'll find this npmjs.com and here you can find packages. And one of the packages is actually Angular um, CLI. So let's try and search for that. And you'll see here are the Angular CLI one. But this is the old version, so we'll do at Angular CLI instead to find what I think is the new version. So let's just go in here, have a look at this, and here it pops up with Angular CLI, and this is the link to the one I actually just showed you. So that's how you can actually figure out and, and find the Angular CLI part. Has the same installation parts, etc. etc. So now it still installs. I'll get back to you when the installation is done. So the installation is done, and look at all of this that we're downloading to actually do the CLI. There's so many different uh, plugins that we're using from NPM. And of course, all of these are just being pulled out because I did the install um, of the Angular CLI here. So these are all required and we, we cannot avoid that if you want to use the CLI. We need all of these to write an Angular 2 application. So that's why it took a bit of time, but now it's done. Next time, let's try and build our first application just to get started. So we are ready to actually get started with our first Angular application in a second. See you next time.